guys! So today we're going to be doing a big collective haul. I feel like people don't really do a lot of haul videos on YouTube anymore and it's something I love to watch because I love to shop and I'm really nosy and I've been saving these things for a while because I knew I wanted to make my comeback to YouTube eventually. I still love makeup and I still have a shopping problem. So I have stuff from Ulta, Marc Jacobs, I have a few things from Sephora, um, MAC, Kylie Cosmetics, a few things that I purchased at Gen Beauty last weekend, and then Glambot and eBay, and I think that's it. So, let's get into it. You can walk into Sephora with like, I don't know, wanting one or two things and you walk out spending like $300. So the first thing I got is from Fenty Beauty and it's the highlighter called How Many Carrots and this packaging is just beautiful. Look at the shine. And it looks like this. It's just a sparkly pearl color. And I think that this is a little too gritty to put on the body. I mean on the face, but like I think this would be so beautiful all over the body and that's how I plan to wear it and maybe like as eyeshadow too but it just it feels really I don't know if wet is the right term I feel like it's very different it's kind of like a putty texture but yeah super pumped for that and then I also got the matching lip gloss that they came out with the gloss bomb in the shade diamond milk and I have the universal gloss bomb from Fenty and I love it and my friend Taylor bought this and I saw her put it on the other day and I was like, yep, I need you. Meaning I want you because I don't need any new makeup, but you know, life is short, right? So it's basically the same color as that highlighter. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see right there. It's just a really sheer color with white shimmer. I thought it was going to look weird on me, but it didn't look weird on Taylor, so I was like, eh, throw it in the bag. And then the last thing is this Hourglass eyeshadow. It's the Scattered Light one in the shade Foil. And I own a million different gold colors, but then I saw this and I was like, I need that. So, oh, it comes in a little pot, and the cap's right here. And... Oh, it just swatches. Oh my god, that's like the worst swatch ever. Can you see that? Oh, there it is. Right there. Yeah, definitely gonna be fun around the holidays. So the next things that I'm gonna show you are from MAC and they did a 20% off sale a few weeks ago. And I was like, hmm, what can I buy from MAC that I don't really like trust to buy anywhere else or let me rephrase mac has really awesome glitters and the colors that they have are really fun a lot of brands don't really have glitters that i care about nyx makes some good ones but max glitters just like takes me back to the days of old youtube oh something about a mac glitter just gets me so i got three colors two of them i think are newer so the first one i got is rose and this is just like a rosy pink I don't know I'm not the best at describing colors but yeah that's beautiful can't really swatch a glitter but you can see the color is just beautiful and then I also got emerald Ugh, this looks so delicious and iridescent sage and this one I was just kind of like I need a minty green glitter in my life so that's gonna come in handy maybe in the winter and then I got one of their chromographic pencils in the shade primary yellow it's just a matte yellow color I don't know some people might be like why would you ever buy that but I like the weird colors you know it's fun there's so many people out there doing the same thing on YouTube and I don't want to be one of them. Next things I'm going to show you are from Kylie Cosmetics and I am not the biggest fan of Kylie's makeup but her lip products I think are really good and I also think it's 
cool the different collections she comes out with. And so I got two things. I got this, which is the Velvet Liquid Lipstick and Lip Liner in the shade Candy K. And I remember I bought Candy K in the matte form when it first came out. Like, it was her second ever launch with like True Brown and Dolce. The lipstick and the lip liner match, so that's that. But I love this color. I think it's beautiful, and I feel like a lot of people like her velvets, and I've never tried them, so we'll have to give that a whirl. And then we got the gloss from her collection with Jordan, which is in shade 23. It's just this beautiful gold. I'm all about the glitter glosses these days. I feel like it's a really interesting trend. And this gold is just like next level. You can see that right on my hand. That's the gloss right there. So I'm excited to wear you. Gen Beauty was really fun. I got to meet a couple YouTubers and I went with my sister and my friend Taylor. And one of the booths I bought something at was the Ofra booth. And they have recently redone their packaging and I got one of their blushes in the shade Mai Tai. And this is gonna be so fun in the summer. I probably have a million blushes like this. But these are usually 29 bucks and they were selling them for 10 so I was like... And then I went to the MAC booth because they were doing 20% off and I got this lipstick. And this is their new Powder Kiss lipstick in the shade My Tweety and it's a nude. And the formula on this is like really... It's really interesting. It's kind of like the Maybelline Creamy Matte lipsticks. Yeah, maybe this is... I don't know. This looks a little less new than I thought, but it's still pretty. Anyway, let me show you the more glitter. I bought more glitter. So I went on eBay because I was like, okay, I want to get a few glitters, but I feel like I could get some of them cheaper than the 20% off. So I got, the first one I got is pink glitter, and this looks kind of like the one I just showed you. Um, that I bought in rose, but it's not the same. And honestly, someone like me, I noticed a difference and that's all that matters. I also got the Max, MAC Reflex Rust Glitter and it's this color. And uh, Max Reflex Glitters are really finely milled, so it's almost like a pigment or like flex of glitter. I wish I could show you, maybe I'll use this in a tutorial, but it's just the be most beautiful rust color. I mean, the name says it all, you know? And then the last glitter I got was something I never even knew existed until I was just scrolling eBay and I saw it and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get that, maybe. And then I was like, oh, I don't really wanna pay that much. It's not that they were charging like $50. And I was like, no. But then I placed an offer and they accepted my offer and then I got 15% off. So this is in the shade Lust Dust and it looks like this. And it's like a antique gold, but holographic. And I just thought that was fresh. I've never seen anybody do anything like this. So I was like, give it to me. And now it's mine. If you're not familiar with Glambot, Glambot is a website where people send in their new or lightly used makeup and it's resold after it's been sanitized and stuff and some people are probably like oh that's gross but like think about it when you go to a makeup artist they usually will use products and then they'll sanitize them to use on other clients i picked up quite a few things but um so let's start with the mac pencils these two are lip liners and these two are just chromographic pencils so i got one in the shade Genuine Orange and one in the shade Process Magenta. And you can see the colors on the caps. They're magenta and orange. <laughs> so I got Soar and Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo is a very popular lipstick from MAC. And then Soar is like the Kylie Jenner color that everybody was freaking out about. I think I might have Soar already, but you know, whatever. Sometimes Glambot does really amazing sales and like things will go like 80% off and then I just freak out and I throw a bunch of stuff in my cart, but yeah, it's fine, whatever. The last pencil I got from Glambot is from Urban Decay and it's the Glide On pencil in the color Stash and it's a beautiful olivey green right there. I have so many swatches on my hands, ugh. But yeah, I love the Urban Decay pencils. They are super nice. 
then I got a cup. Oh, I got three lipsticks from Glambot. So one is the Mac Miley Cyrus Viva Glam lipstick. I have this already, but it was limited edition, and I figured I might as well just get a second one. It's just a beautiful color, definitely a summer color. And then I got Bite Beauty Sugar Cane. Again, I have this lipstick, but it's like one of the best nudes I've ever tried, and it was cheap. A lot of this I bought just because it was cheap. So check out Glambot. And then the last lipstick is from Charlotte Tilbury. This packaging is just beautiful. And it's in the color Birkin Brown, which the name is just beautiful, but that color, it's like a chocolatey brown color. So perfect for fall. I am pumped. Glambot has taken too much of my money, but it's okay. Oh, there's one more pencil in here. Um, this is the color Feline from MAC. It's one of their Cold Power pencils. I also have a couple of these, but this is like one of the nicest coal pencils ever. I remember like back in the day when I would watch like Ellen Blair Fowler on YouTube. I remember Elle loved this pencil and I was just like obsessed with her. So I had to have everything she mentioned. The last three things from Glamba. So one of them is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. And let me tell you, every time this is on Glambot, I purchase it. I don't even care. And this, it, this one is brand new. This one hasn't been used at all. And I think it's like a, it has a little purple on the rim. So I don't understand what that means. I think that's just like a different flavor or something. Ooh. But this is the best lip hydrator or lip mask that you could use before bed. Oh yeah, that is new. The seal is still on it. Sick. So I use this before I go to sleep and I wake up and my lips are just like plump and juicy and just, oh, I love it. It's worth every penny, but if you can get it cheaper, do it. They also did it in their holiday sets last year. So check out Sephora. I love Sephora. I'm always in there and in Ulta. I'm just, I have a problem. The next thing is this Fenty Beauty highlighter. When this first came out, I was like, why would I ever buy that? Like, it's just not a highlighter color at all. And then over time, I was like, oh, I mean, I could use it for eyeshadow and I could like just, you know, whatever. And it's Trophy Wife highlighter. And it kind of matches the Kylie gloss that I showed earlier. Right there. Boom. Beautiful. I'm gonna play around with this. Maybe I could get away with using it as a highlighter, but probably not. And then the last thing has a story behind it. Oh God. So it's an item from Dior. It's a discontinued highlighter and I already own this, but I always told myself if I find this, I will buy it again. So it's in the shade Amber Diamond and that's what it looks like on the inside. It's like OG Dior. Everyone was obsessed with this. I remember watching oh, Tanya Burr. She's the one who I think initially turned me on to this and she had like done a makeup tutorial with her friend Kate and it was like, I don't know, but it was just, it was that highlighter and I was like, I need you. And I remember like back in college, I scoured the internet to find it. I found this girl who was selling it in Australia of all places. And I was like, hey, do you still have this? If you do, let me know. And like how much you're willing to sell it to me for. I think she sold it to me for like 18 US dollars. And I was just like, so I bought another one because this highlighter, like everybody really likes blinding highlighters these days. And like, I love a good blinding highlighter, but I feel like it's important to also not look like you just took like tin foil and just like, you know, went crazy with it. But this, I don't know, it's just the perfect blend of like blinding and natural. And it's Dior, like you can't go wrong with Dior. Their face products are amazing. So we have two things left. We got Marc Jacobs and Ulta. So I'm gonna do the Marc Jacobs stuff. They were doing 25% off their site the other day. And then if you spent 75 bucks, you'd get a free eyeliner. So I spent more than $75 and got the free eyeliner. And it's like a pearly white color. You can see the color on here. It's called In the Buff. Ooh. So, I don't know. It's 
right here. Um, whatever. You get the idea. The things I actually purchased are like newer to them. They came out with these sequins eyeshadows. And I first heard about these months ago when Selena Gomez went to the Met Gala and she had this beautiful bronzy eyeshadow that Hung Van Gogh, her makeup artist, did on her. And I was just like, what is on your face, girl? I got two of them. They come in these little pots, kind of like the hourglass thing, kind of like the L'Oreal infallible shadows that they sell at the drugstore. So the first one is called Gleam Girl. And I'm gonna do a little swatch on my hand. So that's what it looks like. And it's just, ugh. This is like what I live for. It's kind of like a beigey champagne kind of thing. And then the second one I got is called Copperazzi. And uh, you guessed it, it's a copper shade. Okay, so that's what the copper shade looks like. So we got the champagne in the copper and the copper is got like yellow and red glitter in it. It's just stunning. Marc Jacobs, you did a good thing making these. The last thing for Marc Jacobs is the new highlighter that has this beautiful packaging. Ooh, got some fingerprints, but yeah. It's just blinding, you can see my ring light. And it's in the shade Guilty, like G-I-L-T-Y. And it looks like that, you got a big mirror. You can see my TV. But yeah, so it's a peachy gold type of color. Let's get a clean finger. And it looks like that. So it's right there. Yes, I am excited to slather this all over myself. The Ulta stuff is from two or three different orders from Ulta. So I think I got one today, so I'm gonna do that one last because that has the really exciting stuff. And I'm gonna show you the stuff from the last two. Or, yeah. So the first thing I got just cause it was on sale and it's one of the NYX Primal shadows in the shade Hot Yellow. Love a good yellow shadow. Though I will say I'm annoyed because I bought the blue one too and then it broke and then they were like, it's out of stock, we'll just refund you. And I was like, Ugh, thanks for nothing. So I don't know. I do have a few yellow eyeshadows with this one. It looks a little different. <laughs> Says the makeup addict. I got a few face masks. So I got two from Tony Moly. One is the vitamin C mask and the other is the collagen elasticity because we're not getting any younger, so you need your collagen. And vitamin C is really good for your skin too. And then I also got the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, and I use the Hydro Boost moisturizer in the daytime and the nighttime, and it's just oh, my favorite. It's kind of like the Tatcha water gel, so if you're broke or you don't want to spend $70 on a moisturizer, check out Neutrogena's stuff. I also got two things of Tarte Shape Tape because Ulta was doing 50% off up to two of them. So I was like, my Tarte Shape Tape is old. So I need another. So I got two of these. Uh, the shade I wear is medium and I usually just wear that under my eyes. I am stocked. And then I got the Milani Amore Matte Metallic Lip Cream in the shade Vampy Matte. And this is so pretty. It's got like little red shimmers in it. Perfect for fall. I haven't really worn liquid lips in a while because they're just really dry. And I feel like gloss has made a big comeback. So yeah, I don't know. But I'm excited to wear this. I have a few of their liquid lipsticks and I think that they're, they're pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how I like this one. The last two things from my first, the first half of my Ulta haul, this is a highlighter from Essence and it's called the Pure Nude Sunlighter. What is a sunlighter? I don't know. But it's very, let's swatch this on my hand. It's very subdued, 
which is nice. I've always, I've been looking for a highlighter that kind of just looks like my skin is glowing naturally. Like this, that's not a natural glow, but this definitely could be, we'll see. Kathleen Lights is the one who hauled this and I was like, ooh, and it was on sale. Guys, I don't buy anything full price, or at least I try not to, because why would you ever do that when there are all these sales out there? These brands are getting so competitive now and they just want your money. I have been using this spray for my hair. This is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth uh, Anti-Frizz Heat Protect Spray. And it is great because I get keratin treatment sometimes and having keratin in your hair is great to protect it especially if you use a lot of hot tools like me. I blow dry my hair after every wash, basically, unless I wash it earlier and then I let it air dry, but this is great. My friend Taylor, once again, I keep mentioning her. She's the one who put me onto this when we were still in college and I haven't used anything else since and it's only like $4.99, but it was on sale too. Okay, so now the box of goodies that I got from Ulta today. This is something I did not know existed until like two days before I placed this order. And my lovely friend Katie is the one who told me about this. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter XL. And this is twice the size of a regular All Nighter, but it's only seven or eight dollars more expensive. So I got this haul with my 20% off Ulta coupon. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with the XL. And then I also got the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So Jaclyn Hill uses this a lot and everybody hates Jaclyn because she's always talking about Morphe and I'm like sick of it too, but she loves this and I just wanna see if it's good or not so I can expose her for being fake. It's supposed to just be a spray that, ooh, y'all see that? It just sprays without, so you can just all over your face. Yeah. We'll see how I like this. But yeah. So everything else in this box is from Dose of Colors. And it's the new Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collab part two. I love Desi and Katie. And oh, I, I was so happy when I heard. Oh, I don't want to break this. I was so happy that I heard they were coming out with this collab because they, oh, they just killed it last time. And the fact that there is an eyeshadow palette, um, new highlighters, new lip products, they re-released the gloss that I love. So, okay, so let's just stop talking and break into this. I probably should have unboxed all of these things before I started filming. This is what the packaging looks like. Yeah, freaking stunning. Just look at the shimmer, it looks wet. And this is what the inside of the package looks like. Inside the package. Inside of the palette. So we have all these beautiful colors. Yes. Oh, I just can't get over this. It's like, matches my highlighter. That's the Frankation palette. And then I got the new highlighter called Chasing the Sun. They came out with the Fuego highlighter, but I already have it last August. I bought the whole collection last time as well. So this time I just bought everything I didn't have from the first collection, except for the glosses. So Chasing, oh, the protective film. So Chasing the Sun has the same beautiful packaging and it looks like that. It's a gold or bronze. Ooh. Oh, honey. Oh, yeah, this is like the worst place to try and swatch something. <laughs> yeah, you get it. It's bronze and it's beautiful. All right, all right, all right, all right. I came back out with over the top gloss and that is a clear gloss with gold glitter in it. I just love a gold glitter gloss. And then I also bought the other gloss that they came out with, which is called The Most. And it's just like, it looks kind of similar to the Rihanna gloss, I'm not gonna lie. But the glitter in here looks kind of like purpley pink. It's just, oh, throw all this trash away. It's all garbage. They came out with two lipsticks, like bullet lipsticks and two liquid lipsticks. So the first, bullet lipstick they came out with is called Aftermath. 
And when I heard that name, it reminded me of that scene at the end of Straight Outta Compton where Suge Knight asks Dr. Dre what he's going to call his new record label. And he turns around and he goes, Aftermath. And I was like, oh, that's so, that's so good. It looks kind of like a chocolatey red. And I think it's beautiful. I mean, I'm just a makeup lover. I think all colors are beautiful. And then they also came out with a peachy shade called Hey Girl. And it looks like that. This is like the perfect background to show products. This is gonna be really pretty. I mean, this is a good color that you can wear year round, honestly. Though there are no rules in makeup, so you can really just do whatever you want. Let's just rip the box because you know what? The box is not the important thing here. The last two items are the li lipsticks and they are called My Main and A Mob Story. And My Main is a nude. Oh, that's not crazy. Where can I swatch this? Let's do it on my arm. So My Main is this nude color. Oh, let's not tip this over. Yep, so it's like that. Right, yeah. And then a mob story is gonna be right next to it, right there. So you can see the differences. This is a little warmer, and this is a little cool tone, and has like some purple undertones. So that's my haul, guys. I feel like I need to figure out how much all this stuff would cost retail and then figure out what I actually paid for all of it, and then I'll put it in the title. I remember when YouTube used to have the sidebar that was like, over there, yeah. Yeah, the sidebar, like, like this video if you've been here since those YouTube days. But yeah, guys, that is the end of my haul. I know it's a lot, okay? I know it's a lot, you don't have to tell me. This video is to show you all the beautiful things that are out there in the world that you, if you're interested in, should check out because like, why not, you know? Now I can finally put all this stuff away in my makeup collection if there's any space for it. But comment down below what your favorite thing was from this video or something that you've purchased recently that you like so I can go check it out because I'm a shopaholic so I will like this video if you wanna see more and subscribe. I feel like YouTube these days is just all about views and all these different things and I don't really, like, yes, that matters, but at the same time, makeup is something I love and I wanna find more people who love makeup just like me. So, yeah. Oh, I'm getting makeup all over my shirt. It's time to turn off the camera. All right, so I will talk to you guys soon. I love you and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.